Do you ever wish you could stop trying to prove your worth to that person in your life? It's so exhausting. And did you ever notice that it doesn't work? Here's what works for me. But first, let's talk about it a little bit. Is there someone in your life that you're always doing for, always giving, 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 and you always feel that the more you show your love for them, the more they back away? I mean, yes, they're always happy to take all of the things that you give them, and they're always happy for you to do more and more and more for them, but it doesn't bring you the kind of relationship that you want to have with them. I guess I thought I could feel loved through someone else, but the most important person who needed to love me was me. But this was the thing I always avoided. And once I could do that, then I received everything I'd been wanting, but I was putting off loving myself for years and years and years. So if you're still with me, let's talk about this, and I have four steps for you to try if you stick around to the end of the video. So the thing is, we all think we love ourselves, but I found out, at least for me, it wasn't true. Once I decided that I had to feel that deep, sincere love for myself, it started to feel crazy to me that I had been worried about what any other person thought about me. You just don't have time for that anymore. You don't have time to worry about other people anymore because your time is now focused on loving every single thing about yourself and being happy with yourself. So you start finding everything about yourself so lovable even the parts that you used to not like, that you don't feel the need to cover up anything anymore or prove anything to anyone. When you start thinking about yourself as your favorite person of all time, everyone good in your life starts treating you with as much love as you're giving to yourself. And yes, it's true, there's gonna be a few people who hate this new incarnation of you. And you're gonna finally recognize them as the people who have been literally sucking the life force out of you for years. Sometimes they've been doing this for so long that you can't even see it. But now, suddenly, it's so easy to let them go. Every day, when you keep filling yourself with a never-ending supply of your own love, more and more people feel this energy and want to be around you. So here's what I do in case you might want to try it too. It's just four steps, might feel a little crazy at first. So number one, look into the mirror and say, I love you. I learned this one from author Louise Hay, and it felt so cringy and hard to do at first, but soon it became easy and really powerful. If it's too hard to look at yourself in the mirror when you say this, you can leave the mirror out of it for now. Just keep saying, I love you, I love you. Number two, when you're telling yourself, I love you, something inside you might or probably will say, no, that's a lie, I don't love me. So have a conversation with your inner voice. Tell her, no, it's not a lie, I really do love you. It's important to let your mind know that she's not allowed to tell you lies about your unlovability. Number three, let your inner child give you a big loving smile. You can do this with or without the mirror, but once you can give yourself a loving smile into a mirror, you know that you're really feeling the love. Number four, think of some specific things you really love about yourself and say them out loud. Because remember, words are magic. Maybe you've never thought of all the cool and unique things about you. If you can't think of anything right away, look for clues of things that you love and admire about yourself. And power tip, try to think of fun things about yourself, goofy things, beautiful things about yourself, and not things about how much you sacrifice for other people or how you work yourself to the bone. Because a lot of times that's where we think our lovability is and it's not. So keep repeating all of these good things to yourself write them down on index cards or do a candle spell to help you in your self-confident self-love. So why doing these four steps is powerful. If we don't believe it when other people say nice things to us, it can take us even longer to believe the loving things we say to ourselves. So that's normal. Just keep reminding yourself, I love me. So want a self-love spell to help with this? Tell me in the comments and I will do one and I'll post it in another video.